Well, it's about 100 degrees, and I decided that I wanted to get ready for a little trip we're going on this weekend. So I decided to install a Midland MXT 275 GMRS radio in the truck. Not a great idea when it's 100 degrees. Welcome to Boondock Haverlock. So we got a Tacoma, traded in the Silverado, lots of reasons why, um, but might make a video on why we chose the Tacoma over the Ranger, Colorado, Gladiator, or Frontier. I looked at them all, um, this one just came on top, and not just because it was a Toyota. There are a lot of reasons why, um, but we've done a couple things of this already. Uh, the day I brought it home, I had already ordered from the Jungle website a Tanu cover. Because me and Rain don't get along, that's going to keep some of our stuff a little bit dry. Um, I do have plans to put a topper on there and build myself a little camp bed for when I go out on my own. Um, but we'll get into that later when I can actually get the topper and start building that out. That's for future. Um, yeah, we haven't really done anything else to it um, other than what we're going to do today, which is install a... Midland MXT 275 GMRS radio um, just so we can communicate with other people on the trail and mostly because this weekend we are going on a little trail cleanup with Venture Unknown and uh, got to have the radio to talk to them guys. So here we go. All right, so. I ran the antenna wire through the firewall through an existing grommet. Um, it has up on the top there, there's a little nipple. There's one on the bottom, those are sealed off. So I cut the little end off of it and ran the antenna through there. There's a hole on the other side that gets through. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get it through to be 100% honest. I actually had to take the grommet, kind of pop it out into the engine bay, feed it through and then pop the grommet back in. Um, once I know exactly how much antenna wire I need inside, I will then put a zip tie around it to make sure it's watertight. Now, it goes in, it's kind of up by the glove box, which is where I'm mounting the radio. Um, so inside, let's see if I can find it. You can see, uh, my camera might not get up in there. So it comes out right there. Got to kind of split the insulation. Um, you got to take your little plastic covers off that hide all this stuff, but that wasn't terrible. Um, so then I ran the antenna wire up into the glove box where there's about a half inch hole right there where I drilled through and popped the antenna wire. Along with the antenna wire through that hole, I ran a ground cable, a power cable, and then since the microphone has an RJ45 jack on it, which is basically your standard Ethernet jack, um, I'm running a Cat5 cable up in here too. That will allow me to mount the unit in here and have the microphone over on the other side of the truck. I'll show you where that's going to go. So those wires run behind the center console real easy it's actually easy to get them through there i'm actually going to put the other end of the rj45 jack somewhere in this area right here probably up closer to there um, that way it's hidden it's out of the way and i can unplug the microphone and other side from the antenna being outside of the truck you won't see it it's not going to be quick and easy to see so it's kind of hidden kind of a stealth install i guess we would call it but right now, I've got these wires that I have to connect up to my fuse block. And to do that, I got one of these little add a fuse things. It was cheap. Um, so I'll plug that into a switched fuse, which will be the USB fuse. And then you put your USB fuse in there, and then you put a 5 amp fuse in there to fuse the radio. And once that's in, 
show you how I got that and where I ran the wires and then we'll get on to the cat 5 stuff so that's where I got it hooked up in the USB the 7.5 is the USB the 5 is for the radio I just ran the wires uh, underneath my carpet see right there I'll tuck it in once I get everything in there and they just run underneath and over to the other side there is a ground lug right in there somewhere a factory ground lug I found it it's somewhere in there Let's see if we can oh, it's somewhere in there that's where I got my ground wire coming down to goes in there and it's grounded right to a factory ground so that runs over there runs up into the glove box let me get this uh, RJ 45 connected I got to drill a hole over there for it I'm probably going to because there's nothing back there probably go right about there with it and that way once it's plugged in it's out of the way it's up I don't think I don't think I'm gonna go up here with it I think right there is probably the best spot because then I can kind of cut it out make it a square like it needs and plug that thing in there so on your cat 5 cable you got four pairs of wires an orange pair a green pair a blue pair and a brown pair there's two ways to wire this you can wire it either way it doesn't really matter um, as long as both sides of it match so there's an a and a b a is basically the way it's wired is green white green orange white blue blue white orange brown white brown b is orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown doesn't matter which one you choose as long as both sides match um I'll get this one wired up show you what it looks like and then we'll go into the glove box to finish the wiring up in there so that's what it looks like um it's in there pretty good it probably i mean i'm not gonna be pulling on it a whole lot now what i'll probably do is at some point paint it black um just to make it blend in a little bit more but that's where that is and that's in there so this side power hooked up ground hooked up rj45 right there we're gonna go into glove box and start on that side so I got the bracket mounted up in there. Um, I just use a two-sided tape. Use 3M 15-pound stuff. Um, I use that to mount pin pad stands for work, and they get a lot of abuse, and they seem to stay on the countertop there. They should be fine. If not, we'll just run a couple screws up in it. All right, there's the final assembly. It's plugged in there. I just hung it right there. Um, I mean, the cable rubs my leg a little bit, but it's nothing I ain't gonna be worried about. There's really no other place to put that mic without being in the way of anything. So I got the six decibel gain antenna, just mounted it with Midland's bracket right on there. Just a couple set screws, pretty easy. Got everything zip tied up. Um, let's go in and see if it works. Got your mic right there. Got your radio right there. And the glove box. Can't see it. It's hidden away. And uh, see if this bad boy works. There you go. Hey everybody, sorry about the video quality. Bad light, or just bad operator. Probably that. Uh, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.